Hello everybody, hope you're well. I'm loving that festive, slightly off tone sound in the background. As you know, I don't normally put videos up over the Christmas period. I try and have a week off, but I've got two special videos in the next couple of days together to uh, help you get through this time. It's really off putting. Stop, stop. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is finished with like a sort of. <laughs> don't know if you heard that. I hope I haven't broke it. I'm not going to find out. No! You might remember last year I did a series of videos where I went to the shop and they're selling these things like giant chocolates. And you're thinking, yes! It's a giant chocolate inside. I did a Lindor and I did the purple one of Quality Street, which they tend to do different ones uh, in boxes and stuff like that. And I kid you not, I was in the shop looking at this one. This is the strawberry version. Now they're quite like bumpy on the surface. I was literally in the shop like this, like feeling it. I can feel like the ridges and bumps on the top just to say, have they done it again? They have. It's the, the mold for this, I believe, is pretty much identical to a small one. So let's check that. Inside this thing is not gonna be one giant one, which you kind of hope and wish for and pray for. No, <laughs> in actual fact, inside, oh, it looks like a load of cherries, doesn't it? Look, that, <laughs> yeah, see the bumpy surface? Wait for this. Oh, wow. To be fair, they have packed that in there. Sometimes, I think it was the purple one. I think they're a bit more expensive to make. They tend to like really just make most of it be air. Well, there goes that brand deal. Some of you might not have ever seen one of these before. So I'm going to basically slice it in the middle. Whoa. And I'll reveal in the middle, kind of like a fondant icing cream, a little bit like an after eight filling, except these are called strawberry delights and they are basically icing sugar flavored strawberry. That That is it. Now let's not beat about the bush here. Uh, those that existed last year and I looked at it, I was like, oh really? I think I even tweeted saying, look, I really don't want to do that because basically if you can imagine supersized icing like that, basically just a mountain of icing sugar with some strawberry extract. I mean, miniature scale? at 9 a.m. after having your cornflakes. Yeah, it's not the best. But can you imagine if I did it in one of these? That's just basically gonna be one of the most sickly things ever. So I thought to myself, if I'm gonna do this, and it will look awesome, it's dark chocolate as well, by the way. We are gonna make something different, something unique, something fresh-ish, homemade-ish. I'm gonna fill it with a strawberry mousse. I mold over a buttercream, but again, Buttercream can be quite sickly, so we're gonna go for a strawberry mousse, which is gonna involve cream, marshmallows, and strawberries, but it's gonna have a teeny bit more depth, a bit more control, maybe a slightly pinker shade to it, but it should taste a little bit more than effectively strawberry toothpaste in a tub. First thing we're gonna do is hull our strawberries. Do this with a knife if you want, like most people would. Randomly, I have this in my drawer. It's pretty good. This is a little cool little gadget. Stick it in, twist, boom, holds your strawberries for you. There we go, that's like, a I don't know, 10 or so strawberries hold in about a minute. Uh, and uh, apart from a few little leaves, just, I just dropped one on the floor. Alexa, can dogs eat strawberries? Dogs can safely have strawberries. Yes, they can. Go! Go! What's that? Go! Hold your strawberries and uh, have them as well. No! Okay, so we're gonna just switch to uh, melting the chocolate for our amazing mold. Uh, this is something I was sent the other day to try, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, so I said it's dark chocolate in there, okay. And I have just boiled my kettle. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's spraying everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna just put some cling film over the top just to try and keep that heat in there. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, but apparently, the hot water will just basically melt the chocolate. It's already chocolate chips, so it's small anyway, in the bag so we can effectively squeeze it out. Now I've just got to move the bowl somewhere safer. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's worked a charm, that's nice. Right, I'm gonna keep the other two in the background warm, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna take my mold in my kitchen room, gonna put chocolate in the bowl. This is awesome, check this out. Ah, amazing. So I'm gonna give it a little shaky shake, so it will hit those little bumps. <laughs> but obviously we don't just wanna do the bottom right now. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm gonna lift it up the sides so it clings. That might not look like much, but trust me, when chocolate is set and it's hard, it's like a brick wall. I've headbutted many a tea cake in my time, folks. And I will use the other two bags just to make sure. Okay, little update. Stuck this in the freezer for about two minutes just to start to cling the sides because it's such a thin layer. Brushed it up so I've got two coats on there 
and I've just topped up the bottom bit. So I'm just tapping this and I'm actually going to leave this to, to sort of set at room temperature here. What I really like with this hack is I can literally just stick my spatula in there for the time being so that it's warm. It might melt that chocolate off so I can clean it easier. Shame it doesn't clean your hands though. Back to the strawberries then, or strawberries as some of you like to give me as a food pun on social media from time to time. You're gonna take the strawberries off the chopping board. It's that amazing, that song. Kids kind of like it. Ta-da! Strawberries in a pan. Little bit of water. The water is going to help to break down the strawberries. They're effectively going to mush them up really, kind of like a start of making a jam. Now normally you would add maybe about a tablespoon or two of sugar just to add a little bit of sweetness. I think we've got quite enough for one day. It's been bubbling away for about three or four minutes now. It's on a gentle simmer, which is going to soften up the strawberries, making a really nice concentrated strawberry flavour. And it's kind of like I say, the start of making jam, uh, which I absolutely love making jams now, unofficially. Didn't really want to share that on the internet. I used to like Jaeger bombs and, and other things, and now I like staying in and making jams. That's, that's my life. Don't judge me. A gooey strawberry festival in a pan. That's coming off the heat right now. And of course, if you wanted to, you could add like a little cheeky vanilla pod, not vanilla extract, a little bit in that in there. Wow, that's hot. Strawberries ready to be whizzed up. Got it on the lowest setting. Because I don't want to spray molten lava strawberry in my face. Boom. Now mine will be a bit pink, obviously, because the strawberries, like I say, but I want to make that natural. <sighs> Smells good. Flavour. But basically by whizzing it up like that, you've got all the lumps out, but you still need to work quite fast. We have to get our marshmallow in because the heat will help melt it. So we're going to use the heat from the strawberry mix. It will kind of clump together anyway. You could immersion blender this if you want. Keep mixing and we're starting to get there. Looks a bit like brains, but honestly, stick with it. Okay, so this is nice and smooth now, and as it cools down, it will thicken up. It's based, if you haven't guessed it already, on a chocolate mousse recipe I did last year involving marshmallows, which was amazing. We're just doing a bit of a strawberry twist on it. And you can see that really has got paler. It's important that we cool it down because the last ingredient that's going in is some whipped cream. So we want that to be nice and cool. Make sure your cream, ching no, that's the mixer, the cream. That's been in the fridge to help it whip. So double cream, AKA heavy cream. Oh, I might as well do it all. Just whip it up till it's uh, thick and creamy and got waves in it. There we go. And uh, whilst I was stood there whipping that, I left the camera running, but anyhow, I thought, why not stick some vanilla in there? To the cupboard. Well, you could actually put some strawberry extract, as I say, that kind of defeats the whole point of it. Or if I had enough money to buy vanilla pods every day, <laughs> expensive, but so good. The seeds from that in there with the cream, Whoa. little whip through. Boom, Tim Peaks. Random side note, imagine if I could do a collaboration with Tim Peake, the astronaut, that'd be amazing. We could make like whipped cream and then we could feed each other astronaut food. That would be amazing. Never gonna happen. All right, here we go. So this is cooled down now and you can see as it's sort of room temperature, it has thickened a considerable amount, but now is the time that we get the whipped cream. We're gonna take half of it and just fold it through into our marshmallow mix. A couple of like white streaks going through that there. Very nice indeed. Oh, and then literally the remaining amount, it's just dolloping that in there now. It's gonna give it a bit more creaminess gonna help it thicken a tiny bit too, but this will need, sorry to say, a really good chill, at least for a few hours, ideally overnight if you can, but it's gonna break that down a little bit and then fold it through. So I've just put this back in the fridge just to keep it cool so it starts to set that almost immediately. Give me a little bit of a head start and I'm pouring it into <laughs> that mold, oh my gosh. No. Gonna give myself a little bit of a gap for the chocolate. Let it settle. <laughs> the really cool thing is I've left this chocolate in that warm water. It stayed melted. So that hack is actually really good. I'd never thought of that before, especially with the chocolate chips. They work so well. Yes, and that is going to be setting right now. All right, Mrs. B? Hello. Uh, just a little update. I've put that in the freezer, the AKA the fast fridge for an hour, just to show you what it's going to look like. Ideally, you want to keep it in the fridge for about four or five hours because it's a mousse and before serving, just keep it nice and chilled. And fingers crossed, it's going to work. The only thing I did notice 
Mrs. B hasn't been here the whole time. She's just come back. But um, I just poured chocolate on the base and it sort of sunk in a little bit. So I'm going to have like a bonus chocolate core. Okay. That's how I'm going to sell it, yeah? Okay. Yeah, good. bonus like, chocolate core. Like a chocolate orange core. Yes. I think you're more excited for this one though, right? Yeah. Well, there's like no skill with that one at all. Doesn't I'm at least trying to put some effort into this strawberry one. No, you don't care? I think it'll still be yummy. All right. Hey, I just got some out of the fridge. <sighs> See? Look at that moussey texture. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. <laughs> it's so good. And more importantly, as you can see, it's holding its shape. But that tastes blooming gorgeous and way better than a lump of icing sugar. We ready? <laughs> Just taking it out of the fridge. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Look at the shine on it. Just for reference. <laughs> Yes, that, that is what it should look like when you open it out the wrapper. In fact, let's do that. Okay, let's role play. It's Christmas day. Oh my gosh, yes, I've got one of these. It's gonna be amazing. The tape didn't go on too well, sorry about that. Oh, it's gonna be a giant quality street. Oh no, it's not. It's gonna be one of those things that's like, just full of loads of little ones. Oh my gosh, boom. We nailed it. I nailed it, you just watched. Sorry, it's brutal on its truth. It's been a, it's been a long year. All right, we're near the end. Alas, this will not be perfect. As I said, there is a chocolate core running through it, but um, I got a bit excited putting my chocolate in first. Should I let it set a bit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Well, there we go. It has to be nice and set, to be fair. Look at that. That is sensational. That is really good. I mean, to be fair, it probably would have done that if I did it with a fondant icing anyway, and it probably would have oozed even more places. I think I should have maybe let it set definitely overnight, but tomorrow I'm doing the teaser video, which you'll see anyway. Uh, that's the next one coming up. But look, if you do leave it overnight fully, a smaller portion like that, much more foamy, like a mousse texture. This is still maybe just a teeny bit still gooey, but that's fine. It's holding itself really, really well indeed. Look, check that out. <laughs> now that is a strawberry delight. Freshness, creamy, not too sickly. Can you imagine? It would have been like brushing my teeth with strawberry toothpaste. But there we go. Uh, if you got one of those for Christmas, you've got a few days spare, give it a go. Don't forget to share this video with a friend if you enjoyed it and follow me on social media of choice, Mr. Barry Lewis. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Look. It's not moving at all. I wonder if like Quality Sheet will ever release moose ones on the back of this video. Unlikely. Mm. It's so fresh. Stonking.